Welcome to the lesson, What are Heredity, Instincts, and Learned Behaviors? In this lesson, you're going to learn about traits. You'll find out that physical traits can be inherited or shaped by the environment. You'll also learn that behavior can be inherited or learned. The vocabulary words for this lesson are heredity, instinct, and learned behavior. Click each word to find out more about it. We'll find out more about those as we go through the video. This picture shows a family, a mom and dad and their daughter. Which parent do you think gave the girl her traits or features? Click your answer. What do you think, boys and girls? Is it just the mother? They've got some of the same hair. You think it's just the father? Or do you think it's both parents? I'm gonna click on both parents. You got it. Although the girl may look more like her mother or more like her father, she got her traits from both parents. She has curly hair, just like her mom. But although the picture doesn't show it, she is also good at playing the piano, like her dad. We're going to explore more about traits such as these and learn how we get them from our parents. Each of us has our own set of traits. Our parents pass them down to us through a process called heredity. Can you guess who gave our mothers and fathers their traits? If you said their parents, you're right. So how does heredity work? The answer is genes. Genes are tiny units within our cells that determine our traits. Half of every child's genes come from his mother and half come from his father. Do you know someone who has a brother or a sister? Do they look exactly alike? Of course not. Just because two children have the same mother and father, it does not mean that they have all of the same genes. Each child gets a different combination of genes from his parents. Also, some genes are stronger than others. So they're the ones that tend to show up in a child as traits. Click the pictures to explore this topic further. The process of passing traits, like eye color, from generation to generation is called heredity. A child's traits are determined by his genes. Where does a child get his genes? Half of a child's genes come from his mother and half come from his father. Some genes are stronger than others, so a child may have brown skin like her father or he may have a big nose like his mother. Even if two people have the same parents, each person's genes are different. Some genes may get passed to one person, but not another. This is why a brother may look more like his mother, while a sister may look more like her father. Sometimes traits can skip a generation. This happens in humans, but also in plants. Watch how it works, step by step, starting with two flowers of different colors. Click the top picture to begin. Both the purple and white flowers come from pea plants. When we breed them, the next generation of flowers will be purple. Now let's breed the two purple flowers to produce four new ones. Three flowers will be purple and one will be white. Notice that the white color wasn't in the first generation, but it appeared in the second generation. This is one way a garden can have many different colored plants of the same kind in it. Whether you're a plant or animal, your genes determine the traits you're born with. But once you're living your life, where you live can affect your traits as well. 
Take hair color, for instance. Changing this trait could be as simple as dyeing your hair from blonde to purple. A great way to see how the environment affects traits is in the Palo Verde tree, the state tree of Arizona. It adapted to live in the desert. It has green branches that help it to make its own food. The interesting thing about this tree is that it sometimes has leaves only after a heavy rain and sometimes does not when the weather is dry. All animals, from ants and squirrels to birds and humans, go about their business every day. But think of all the different things we do. Some behaviors are guided by instinct. Instincts are behaviors that we are born knowing how to do. Other behaviors are taught to us. Click each picture to find out more. We Babies are born knowing how to cry. Crying is an instinct. Nobody teaches a ground squirrel to hibernate in the winter. Ground squirrels hibernate by instinct. A dog in the wild does not live alone. It lives in a pack. Living in a pack is an instinct. Do you remember learning how to read? You did not know how to read when you were born. You learned how to read later. Reading is a learned behavior. When a bear is born, it does not know that humans may leave food near its habitat. Looking for food in a campsite is a learned behavior for bears. Humans should learn to secure their food and trash properly when camping near bears. A dog sits when you tell it to because someone taught it to do that. Sitting on command is not an instinct. It is a learned behavior. We've just explored the difference between instinct and learned behavior. Now see if you can sort these actions into the right group. Ask yourself if the animal's action is something it was born knowing how to do, or if it required some learning. Drag your answers into position. All right, so eating, do you think a mouse learns that or do you think it's an instinct? I'm going to say I think it's an instinct. All right, we got that right. So this one is singing. Do we know how to sing when we're born or is it a learned behavior? So I'm going to try, I'm going to try learned. Yep, that's a learned behavior. How about fetching a frisbee. Now we know that dogs are not born knowing how to fetch a frisbee, right? So I think that's going to work. How about purring? How about a kitty cat purring? What do you think? I think that they are born knowing how to purr. Don't you love kitties purring in your lap? How about swimming, a fish swimming? I'm pretty sure that a fish knows how to swim as soon as it's born. How about hunting for a lion? Do you think that's a learned behavior or an instinct? I think they know how to hunt as soon as they're born. Hope I was wrong. They must learn it. You know what? They learn it from their parents. Their parents, lion's parents, teach them how to hunt. So this is climbing. Do we know how to climb the minute that we're born? Is it an instinct? No, it is not. That's something that we have to learn how to do. And the last thing is reproducing. Do we, is that something that you learn how to do? Or is that just something that animals and people know how to do? It's Some of these behaviors, do. like the lion hunting, may seem like instinct, but lion cubs must be taught how to hunt their prey. Eating, on the other hand, is an instinct that all animals know how to do from birth. Now that you've learned about traits, take a moment to think about the following scene. Let's say you know someone with naturally straight hair. One day she arrives at school with curly hair. How is this person's curly hair different from someone with naturally curly hair? Type your answer in the box provided. Click the OK button when you're done. So naturally curly hair is inherited 
through genes from a person's parents. However, if a person straightens or curls their hair, oops, this proves as a spell, that is a learned trait they used something to curl it like an iron or curl overs. All right. A person with naturally curly hair has genes for curly hair. The person whose naturally straight hair now looks curly may have used a curling iron. She changed her natural trait. You've done a great job. Now let's review what we've learned about traits and the different types of behaviors in organisms. Each organism's genes come from both its mother and its father. Genes determine an organism's traits or features. This is true for animals and plants, but many organisms have traits that can be changed by their environment. Some actions by organisms are instincts. These are actions that the organism is born knowing how to do. Some actions, though, are learned behaviors. Animals learn by watching or by being taught by others. Each new organism has a unique set of genes and traits. The organism will pass those down to its children. Now that you've finished this lesson, if you wish, you can go back and review any part of the lesson again. All right, great job, boys and girls. We'll be talking more about this later, and we'll be looking at this on IXL. Have a great day. Bye.